A very good morning and Om Shanti to you. Today is your 163rd day of your Godly Blessing. And before we go ahead, have a look at this video link above where 11 videos are there about sleep, about yoga asanas, about your exercises on chair, about diet for reducing weight and staying healthy. Have a look at this and then let's come back over here. So today's blessing. What does Baba have to say? What does God have to say? God wants us to remember all the points of knowledge because he's revealed all the secrets of knowledge to us with the help of which we can keep this mind very stable. We become independent. We don't blame anybody. We look out for ourselves. It's about focusing on the self so that we can be somebody who can be helpful to others in the future. So let's understand in details what Baba has to say. Baba says, may you become an embodiment of solutions. Solutions by revising points of knowledge. So either we find solutions or we find faults or we find blaming act. That's a practice which many people do. So by revising points of knowledge each day and become an emperor of the land without sorrow. This land which we call as Kalyuk or the Iron Age. We can make this land a land without sorrow by practicing this knowledge. So, let's go in details. Baba says, each day, revise the points of knowledge that are in your diary or in your intellect. There are many points, right from that I am a soul, why I am a soul, how many births have I taken, when did I come down on this earth, what is the purpose of life, when does this drama end, when do we all go back to Paramdham, what is the role of God, how God looks, what is his name? Where does he live? How to contact him through telepathy, through meditation? Everything has been given in this knowledge. So each day revise the points of knowledge that are in your diary or in your intellect and experience them. And you will easily be able to find a solution to any type of problem. Never waste your time in trying to break the rock of problems with the hammer of waste thoughts. Rock of problem with the hammer of waste thoughts. So, the hammer of waste thoughts. Waste thoughts can start with why? Why did that person do this? How? How did this happen? When? When did this happen? Who did this? And all these questions are a hurdle in our journey. We want to go on a, on a journey. Let's say you're going from here to a place which is one hour far away. You stop in between, you look around, you blame the road, you blame the people, you blame the truck driver, you blame the person, you blame the cow walking on the road in front of you. And instead of doing that, you can either break those hammers, break the stones with those hammers, or otherwise you can just pass by without getting interrupted, just focus. You can take two hours blaming everybody around, complaining and focusing on why, when, what, where, how, or you can straight away go ahead and reach your destination. Maybe five minutes a little late than one hour because of those hurdles, but not two hours late while you're complaining and blaming the world. So don't waste your thoughts. So Baba says that don't use waste thoughts like when, what, where, how, and you drain your energy. And instead of putting that energy into finding the solutions of life. So take a high jump over them. It's like jumping over the rocks and not trying to break each rock. And that's what we do. When a problem comes, a situation comes, we're either blaming our family members, we're blaming our community, we're blaming the government, we're blaming the school, the college, we're blaming the office, we're blaming the business, we're blaming the people who are working in our business or in the job itself, the subordinates or the boss. We're blaming and complaining and finding cause. Baba says that is waste thoughts. Your energy is getting drained. Don't do that. Move ahead, jump over it, go to the go to the main purpose of life, that is your goal, achieve it. You save your energy, you are in positivity and you can achieve it. Otherwise, you are draining yourself, you are bringing about a lot of hatred, the whole atmosphere is getting wasted. So, take a high jump over them with the awareness of the world drama. It's a drama. And in this drama, every actor has their own part. I cannot force anybody to act as per the way I want them to act. But I can show them how to act by acting myself first. Be an example. So Baba says, take a high jump over them with the awareness of the word drama and move forward. If something wrong happens, drama. Not his fault, not their fault, not my fault. But let's move ahead. If I'm wrong, I'll 
change it, move ahead. If other people are doing wrong, I won't blame them. I have to reach the goal. I have to be the leader. So I'll move ahead. A leader doesn't complain or blame around and move straight away on a straight line ahead. Those are old sanskars. Those are old sanskars which will then become your servants. The old sanskars of blaming and complaining, they'll serve under us. They won't rise against us. It's like the complaining and the blaming act which we do. They take over our mind and then we are like, oh, I cannot do this work. I cannot reach my goal. They become our servants. They stop troubling us. Instead of us listening to them, they listen to us then. Those old habits of worrying and complaining and blaming. So, don't break the stones with the hammer. Don't do the hard work, Baba says. Your servants. But first, become an emperor. Emperor of your thoughts, your words, your actions and your intellect. And be seated on the heart throne. Heart throne of God the Father. So, if we are in constant connection with God, then the mind will listen to us, our thoughts. Our intellect will listen to us. Otherwise, the intellect is thinking something, we say something, we do something. And that's why it's happening, because we focus on everybody else around us. Our intellect wants to reach the goal, but the mind is getting disturbed onto things and people and complaining and blaming. God says, focus on me. Don't focus on other people's fault. Focus on me, conserve your energy, and move ahead in life. So I leave you with this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Vardhan. How do you meditate? How do you focus? That's what you learn at Brahma Kumaris. Have a visit, have a look at the website of brahmakumaris.com and do go ahead and learn the meditation face to face with a teacher over there, not just online. Have a blessed day. Stay safe, stay home. Om Shanti. 